This never before seen footage shows the life of a polar bear close up through their eyes. A team of scientists strapped cameras to their necks in Northern Canada so they could study their behavior. The main thing we wanted to evaluate was whether polar bears could adapt to life with less sea ice and in particular monitor whether um, terrestrial food resources could serve to benefit polar bears while they're on land. While polar bears on land isn't anything unusual, the time they have to spend there has risen to 130 days each year due to melting sea ice. Which is three weeks longer than they were on land in the 1980s. So how do they survive? You can see the polar bears feasting on a wide range of food, from berries and bird carcasses to caribou. But the key question was whether this would be enough to sustain them, especially with sea ice continuing to retreat. And not all the bears adopted the same survival approach. Some of the bears were highly sedentary and rested up to 98% of the time. But a lot of the bears were highly active, um, spending more than 30% of their time moving around the landscape. But regardless of what the bears were doing, whether they were active or whether they were resting, they were all losing weight at a similar rate. While on land, these bears were losing one kilogram or 2.2 pounds per day. That means an additional three weeks on land could potentially lead to 21 kilograms or 46 pounds of extra weight loss, increasing the risks of starvation and reproduction problems. Polar bears, they're the largest bear species in the world. They really rely on a, a high fat diet that they get from eating seals, and they don't get much benefit from feeding on these terrestrial foods that are available to them. But they hope that this data can help future conservation efforts. The, this study really provided us some baseline information on how much energy bears are expending when, when they're on land. Our plan is to take these data to better understand how long those bears might be able to survive on, on land with forecasted declines in Arctic sea ice.